Hello automation animal lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions. So guys, have you ever wanted to collect data directly from users during bot execution? Maybe you need to capture customer prefer preferences, gather approvals or dynamically adjust workflow based on user input. Well, interactive forms are your answers. Today we are diving into the world of interactive forms in Automation Anywhere A360. So what are interactive forms? You can think of them as pop-up windows within your A360 boards and uh, these forms allows you to display some text, capture user inputs and validate the data and dynamically adapt. So as of now we have been uh, using only one interactive form which is message box but we use this message box to display the message and uh, in when we deploy our board to the production so we are not using uh, these message boxes because if our automation is unattended then there will be no one to close those message box or to check those message box next way we are uh, avoiding the use of message boxes in production we can use those message boxes in the uh, during development or during debugging but if there is any scenario where you want to take inputs from the user then you can use the interactive forms for example, if I want to print the sample string and uh, I want to take input from the user for this sample string, okay? So for that we can take a variable and we can uh, check this use as input and click on apply and run. Okay, so when we run the bot, we will get this uh, form where we can uh, input the value of this sample string. Okay, but we will get this input form when we run the bot from the control room. But when we run the bot on any other machine or when we run the bot on a bot runner, we will not get this type of window. And uh, that interactive form we can uh, utilize in our process and uh, we can implement that in our, uh, we can integrate this with our task bot so that we can take the input from the user. So let me show you how we can achieve that. All right. So for this, we will go to our automation page. And here, when we click on this create icon, we will get three options. Process, task board and form. As of now, we have created a task board only, but now we are going to create a form. So I will click on this form. And here we need to give the name of the form. Let me give my form demo. All right. So it will create a new window like this. It looks like uh, the task board uh, window. We have uh, actions here and uh, on the right hand side, we can see the properties of those actions. And in the middle, we can see this interactive form. Now this is the form. So you can uh, modify this form as per your requirements like uh, if I if I need a small form so I can resize it so minimum width should be 320 I think we can't decrease uh, it more let me try okay minimum width must be greater than 320s okay so there is a condition and height Minimum height must be greater than 150. So these are two requirements. All right. So form title, you can give any title. Let me give uh, my form. So all these things you can do means you can uh, modify these properties like height, weight, and uh, font. Uh, you can change the font of your form, font size, all those things. And here you can see disable display behavior, enable close on and machine and enable minimize or uh, on and machine. So see here, uh, we don't have any option or any button. Like generally we got uh, these type of buttons in our uh, 
uh, windows like you can see minimize maximize and close buttons so we can add those as soon as i check this i will get a close button and as soon as i check this i will get a minimize button all right and here create a reference for hidden element so you can create a reference for this as of now uh, these are not uh, required so we can uh, keep it uh, blank and logos in footer so you can add a logo like we can see this powered by automation anywhere so we can add uh, one logo two logos in the footer as well but uh, i'm not adding any logo so you can design your form as per your requirements or whatever you want to add you can add all right so we got this basic form or a blank form now we want to add something on this form means if i want to create it as a input form so i will add inputs so there are a lot of elements available for taking the input from the user okay so means we can use a text box we can use a text area we can use a number uh, text number type of box which will input uh, which will allow entering numbers only and uh, if you want to take uh, if you want to allow the users to select a file so you can use this select file uh, feature select file element so there are a lot of uh, elements available you can see all right so for uh, our demo purpose i'm going to take a take an input as a number okay so here uh, we can see number and uh, we can change the label of this as well enter a number okay and here we can uh, give the default value so uh, let's say default value should be 0 and uh, character uh, limit minimum so we can uh, apply a limit means the input should be between what 0 to 100 and you can give hint uh, if you want to give means uh, enter a positive number enter a negative number like that you can give hints also and you can also input a tool tip uh, as well and make field uneditable so if you make it so user will not be able to edit this but uh, we want to take input from the user so we are not checking this and there are a lot of formatting available for this means if you need decimal and all, all those things but uh, leave it now i want user will enter a number and uh, they will click on a button or submit button or uh, something so i will take a button and i will rename this to submit all right so our form is ready and we are going to take an uh, number as input okay i will save this and uh, when i click on preview i can see my form so you can select the resolution of your display so it will look like this so you can change the position of uh, this also means when you run the board so where this form will uh, appear so i have selected the coordinates x and y so it will appear uh, in the middle of the display see you can uh, check check this also if you want your form in the middle of your display all right i have saved this now i will go back to the task board so when we go to the actions we can search for interactive so we can see this interactive forms package and there are lot of actions are available okay so first of all we want to display our form in when whenever we run the board first of all that form will display so that user can give input okay so we are going to use this display option display action okay and uh, in display action we can see the properties uh, okay and we need to give the name of the form when i click on it so we can see create variable and the type of this is form so i will give a name to this variable form one okay and here in default value we need to select a form and see this default value is mandatory field you can't create a variable until unless you have given a default value 
so here we can click on choose and when we click on browse we need to go to the path where we have created this my form demo okay i will go to this a360 my dashboards here we can see my form demo which has created two minutes ago i will select this choose and create and select and here i will uh, select the form one from the drop down okay so we have uh, selected a form here and uh, it will uh, this section will display the form one so let me run the bot okay so this will uh, so we are going to apply a trigger condition okay here we are uh, using the trigger loop and it comes with the handle so in handle we are going to select the interactive form and here we will select the form trigger okay and form name is uh, form 1 which we have uh, the variable which we have created and form element so we need to select the element on which we want to apply this trigger okay and when the trigger occurs we can run some actions which are uh, under this loop okay so form element so there are two elements in our form enter a number and submit button so you can see the id of this element is number zero uh, this number uh, button number text box and this uh, submit button the id of this button is button zero okay so here we can see the id and name of those uh, elements so i will select the submit button zero button zero is the element id and which trigger we want to select so i am going to select the clicked trigger so until or unless that button is not clicked it should display for uh, this loop should uh, run okay so as soon as it will uh, click what i want to do is i want to break this loop and before breaking the loop i want to pay, i want to print that uh, value which user has entered in this in that form okay for that we need to get the value from the interactive form and for getting the value from the interactive form we use this action see you can see the description of this uh, action gets value from specified form element and uh, in our case that form element is enter a number and first of all i will select the form name and uh, as soon as i select this form one uh, in our uh, in this drop down so this from element drop down will contain the list of the element which contain which can contain values so our enter a number this element can contain a value so we will get this in the drop down and return the value from the form element to assign to a specific variable so we will save the output in this sample number variable and uh, i will go to the message box and here i will uh, print that sample number and i will convert this into the string okay and after that we will break the loop let me run the board now so here we go we can see our form it it will take a couple of minutes to load this form will stay on the screen until or unless we click on this submit button so if i click on this submit button see we got this message box message from the bot and it was zero uh it has captured this value from the text box zero and as soon as i click on close so this loop will break and uh, our message box will disappear so let me run it again so guys this is how you can take the inputs from the user and then you can process those inputs and you can uh, showcase the output uh, also with the help of these interactive forms but these interactive forms are helpful only in the attended automations 
so if you are going to create any attended automation you can uh, use this interactive form feature you can take the inputs you can process the inputs and you can show the output and you can use this get action to get the value of the element uh, form element and uh, there are a lot of features a lot of actions are available here so we have shown you some demo and uh, if still you want us to post a video on any specific type of interactive form or any other topic you can let us know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching this video do let me know if you have any doubt or any question in uh, any of the topic you remember what is that right